Ackerman here doing my love, and welcome to the 2020 NFL season week two predictions. Before we go to week two, let's recap week one because man, it was a crazy week. We start with the Chiefs winning against Houston, and we had the Bills beat the Jets, but we had a couple upsets this week, such as Gardner Minshew and the Jaguars beating the Colts, Cam Newton winning his first start. Um, as a Patriot, Baltimore dominating, a dramatic finish in Cincy and Denver. Um, the Raiders had a really fun game with Carolina. Big Ben is back against the Giants. And what about these NFC upsets? Washington being Philadelphia. As an Eagles fan, I was devastated. We had a crazy game here in Detroit. Um, Aaron Rodgers looked amazing. Cal Murray was fantastic in the Cardinals win. Um, on my predictions, I went 8-8. Eight and eight. Currently, what's on screen were the correct game winners. So, I went 8-8. Eight and eight. A lot of my mistakes and misses were on the AFC side. And that's where I'm going to start here in Week 2, which continues a lot of these fun storylines. As we began with Burrow versus Baker, the Battle of Ohio, Bengals versus Browns. Both of these teams lost, but for me, I'm going to go with Cincy. I just think that... The Browns looked very messy. Yes, they lost to the Ravens, but they just looked very disorganized. And there's rumors about Odell Beckham Jr. possibly getting traded. Um, Joe Burrow looked pretty good in his rookie debut, and I think he's going to get his first win here against the Browns. Let's go to another divisional game, the Bills and the Dolphins. The Bills won. They looked really good. And what I loved about Buffalo is the post game. they're like, yes, we won, but we do have areas we're going to improve on. I think the Bills win. I think it'll be closer just because division games are closer. And Miami has some talent. I'm going with Buffalo. I think Josh Allen's going to have a really good day. And a quarterback that kind of reminds me of Josh Allen is Drew Locke and the Broncos trying to get their first win against Big Ben and the Steelers. A really fun young quarterback versus veteran type of game. I just think the Steelers win. I think that their defense can lock down the Broncos offense. And Big Ben looked really good. So... I think the Steelers are going to win. This one is really tough between the Jaguars and Titans, two um, you know, teams that won week one. I'm going to go with Jacksonville. I don't know if it's just recently biased. That, you know, they got an upset win, but Gardner Minshew looked fantastic in that game. Yes, the Titans won, but they had some off plays. I'm going with Jacksonville. I think this game will be close. We have another divisional game, the Chargers' first game in the new stadium, which, by the way, looks amazing. Um, I don't think this one will be close. I think that the Chiefs are going to win by a pretty big margin. I think it's going to be a very fun, high-scoring game to watch. And then the Texans and Ravens. Watson and Lamar Part 2. Last time these two um, quarterbacks played, the Ravens won by a lot. I think this game will be closer, but I'm still getting Baltimore the win. I think that Houston's defense is still not on the same page. If I have to go for a score, I'll say Ravens 30, Texans 20. We have a good amount of AFC versus NFC games this week, which makes me happy. We have the Vikings and Colts, Kirk Cousins versus Philip Rivers. Um, regardless of who wins, I think this will be just a very entertaining, high-scoring game. Um, both defenses did not look that great, but I'm going to go with Minnesota. The first reason is Dalvin Cook had a good game, and the Colts' run defense is a bit weak. Plus, Kirk Cousins in Minnesota is really good at play action, and that's what the Colts struggled with. I do think Phil Rivers is going to have some nice connections with his wide receivers, but I think Kirk Cousins and the Vikings are going to win. San Fran and New York, Niners versus the Jets. I am going to give the Niners their first win of the season here. The Jets just did not look that great at all. They go up against another good defense here with the Niners. Even though the Niners did lose, they had some injuries. They traded for Muhammad Sanu since... That week one loss. I think that this is going to be a huge Niners win. I think Kyle Shanahan is going to just have a ton of schemes and run this pass. Yeah, I think this is going to be the big ball game of the week. Um, so you have the Niners being the Jets. And what an excellent game here we have. Cam Newton and the New England Patriots against Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks. Um, Cam, when he was with the Panthers, always had fun games against Russell Wilson in Seattle. I don't think this game will be no different. However, Russell Wilson looked amazing in week one, and Cam Newton did look pretty good as well, but the Seahawks have defensive players like Bobby Wagner at linebacker and Jamal Adams at safety that I think can kind of contain Cam Newton in the running game. I think this will be a very exciting game, a game we will look back on as a classic Sunday night game, but I'm going to give Seattle the win. 
Then we have the Saints going to Las Vegas for the Raiders stadium opener. Um, I think this will be a fun game to watch. I'm going with the Raiders here in a bit of an upset. Um, Josh Jacobs looked fantastic, and the Saints' run defense struggled. And I think that Derek Carr looked good as well. So I think this will be a close game. Even though with Michael Thomas being out, I think the Saints will score. But I just think the Raiders are going to open up their new stadium with a win. So a lot of, I think, fun games here so far. Um, Giants Bears, I'm going to go with Bears. I think Khalil Mack is going to give that Giants offensive line some trouble. We saw that happen with the Giants Steelers game. TJ Watt was just too much for the Giants to handle. I think something similar will happen. Tampa Brady <laughs> versus um, Terry Bridgewater and the Carolina Panthers. Two uh, quarterbacks with new teams. Um, I know the Buccaneers lost, but I think this get this their first win here. I think this will be a very fun High scoring game. I just think Tampa Bay is going to have another week. And you know, when Tom Brady loses, he is not happy. So I think Tampa Bay is going to win here. I do think the Panthers will make some fun plays, but I'm going with the Buccaneers. Falcons and Cowboys. This is really tough. You have two great offenses Matt Ryan, Julio Jones, Calvin Ridley, Dak, you know, Murray Cooper, CeeDee Lamb, Michael Gallup. Now, I know the Cowboys didn't get on pace, but the Falcons defense isn't great. But then the Cowboys' defense isn't great. So I think you go to the running game, and I think the Cowboys' running game is a lot better than Atlanta's. Ezekiel Elliott looked amazing in Week 1, so I think Dallas wins. <sighs> Goff versus Wentz here. Both quarterbacks of the same draft class. I'm an Eagles fan, and, you know, part of the reason they lost Week 1 was due to injuries. A lot of those guys are coming back, Lane Johnson, Miles Sanders. But... Still, you have Aaron Donald on that Rams defensive line. I think this is going to be a close game. I'm going to go with the Rams, everyone. I, I think there's a chance Philly could pull out a classic Eagles second win, whatever it may be. But I think Los Angeles, they had a pretty good game plan. They proved me wrong. I was a doubter of this L.A. team. But they won, and I think they'll win here again. Um, I think this will be a fun game. Matt Stafford and Rodgers high scoring. I think they'll be close. Um, it always is with the Lions and Packers, but... I think the Packers are the better team. And then Washington and Arizona, Dwayne Haskins versus Kyle Murray, both rookies last year, now both in their second year. I think that's going to be a cool narrative. I'm going to go with the Washington football team. Their defense is just really great with guys like Ryan Kerrigan, Chase Young, Deron Payne. I think we're able to contain Kyle Murray. You know, DeAndre Hopkins was fantastic. And I don't think Washington has an answer for that in the secondary. But I think Ron Rivera is going to have a good defensive scheme and make Washington 2-0. So here are my predictions. Let's go to fantasy football. Um, I did lose my week one game here in this win Eagles win league. Um, basically, um, just Rob Gronkowski underperforming didn't help. But this is what I have for week two. A bit of an interesting lineup with Michael Thomas being out. I hope T.Y. Holton does a good thing against the Vikings defense. I have Rob Gronkowski. I know he was caught, but I think he's going to get going. I do have Cam Newton starting against Seattle. Um, I think the Browns running game was good week one. Um, Julio is questionable, but I think if he does play, he'll go off. Chris Carson is a bit of a question mark for me, but I with that Marvin Jones, he I think is going to have a really nice game. I actually might move him with C.D. Lamb. I can just see C.D. Lamb doing really well against this Falcons defense. So... I know I still have the Eagles defense. I hope they do well against Los Angeles. And I have Justin Tucker. So hopefully I get a win here in this league. And in this other league where well, I'm 1-0, I'm feeling really good. I was able to pick up Aaron Rodgers. I dropped Tom Brady. Dalvin Cook, I think, is going to have a great game. Clyde edwards Hilaire looked fantastic against Houston week one. Ty Walk and Michael Gallup. Zach Ertz. Cooper Cup, I think, can have a really big game. Ryan Suck up the Ravens defense. I, am ha I, I did have a trade where... I trade away Keen Allen and some guys for Emmanuel Sanders, but I'm not going to start Sanders even with the trade. So this is my starting lineup. I really think uh, there's a lot of, you know, NFC North players. Um, a lot of NFC players, Rodgers, Cook, Lockett, Gallup, Ertz, Cooper Cup, but hopefully they can come through. I think the Ravens defense could have a big game. So there are my two fantasy leagues, a lot more AFC players here. So have a nice variety. And these are my predictions, everyone. For week two, oh, I don't know where they went. But everyone, that will do it here. Hope you have a great week, and I'll see you for the next week of some NFL.